Aloha Hi Vibe Tribe, it is Pink Bella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part two in the Eclipse series for Twin Flames, Soul Flames, and Blu-rays and the Lunar Eclipse. So welcome back everyone. I'm recording this for you today, Thursday the 12th, and we're in Mercury Retrograde, so fingers crossed it all works out. So this is a download of transmission uh, from the Pleiades, from the Pleiadians as they're working with me through the Pleiadian portal. This is a, actually a lunar eclipse Pleiadian portal. And they're bringing me information to help and assist us all with the, all of us being on our highest timeline, whether you are on the twin flame journey, whether you're interested in the soul flame journey, or you're just wishing to manifest as a Blu-ray, as a high frequency being through this um, very powerful timeline quantum jump. So here's a picture of the Pleiades, the seven sisters, and I will be sharing more about the Pleiadian system and information for this group this Saturday in the second series of uh, Quantum Akashic group sessions, and there's also personal sessions as well. And there'll be a third um, chapter at the end of this month. There'll be a third Gemini New Moon group session as well, and the first session for the a solar eclipse is recorded and that's available as well. So if anybody would like to book for the lunar eclipse session this weekend, you can check out the information in the description box below. So welcome back all of you who are the 144,000, but you're also a twin flame or you're interested in the soul flame journey or just general messages for blue rays. The overall chakra for this eclipse and the energy is incredibly intense and the lunar eclipse is in Scorpio. So this is activating us all at a deep cellular level. It's placing those codes and activating those soul mission codes as a Blu-ray, as a star seed, but also many of you are on the twin flame journey and or the soul flame journey. So the main chakra that came forward for all of us, for all three piles of cards that I pulled for us today for the 144,000 is the throat chakra, the blue ray frequency. So one of the rays that we're going to be receiving through this portal is the blue ray. We all carry this ray. This ray was brought with us as a star seed. So many of you may have started as a twin flame on this journey, um, or you knew that you were a star seed first, or it's all coming together for you. But we actually have aspects and we work with many star systems for this mission. So it, it, it's all encompassed. It's much more than just the twin flame union and journey. Now we're getting a 22 chakra activation. We're getting 22 or more meridians brought online. That's also connected to the grids in and around the earth. And that's why it also feels so intense. That's why oftentimes we have a lot of physical symptoms that are happening because we're receiving so many light codes for our mission. So I asked specifically for some messages from the Pleiadians for the Twin Flames. So the first group will be for Twin Flames. And um, if you're a Twin Flame, this is your, these are your messages. Or you might be completing as a Twin Flame and wishing to align with a Soul Flame. And a Soul Flame is a new term that they brought to me as um, it's not a soulmate. Soulmate has been like a three-dimensional earth term. Twin flame came in for many of us on mission to be activated to meet someone as part of our, our soul group, our monad. For some, like I've been sharing, the twin flame journey has completed for many reasons and or as a soul we've chosen to complete that mission. And now what we're doing is we're moving into um, an option to be on a soul flame timeline. So again, our team, uh, the Pleiadians are saying everyone has an opportunity at this time to align with the soul flame timeline through the lunar eclipse, okay? So, and we're getting an absolute massive heart chakra healing and activation. We're also being shown, or we have been shown, especially with Mercury retrograde, and Mercury will be in retrograde until the beginning of June. It's retrograde in the twin energy right now. It's retrograde in Gemini. It will be moving into Taurus on the 22nd of May. So right now we're kind of re-evaluating everything on the twin and divine union level for this gateway. So you may have um, needed to step back from a lot of people, places, things this week, and or you're going to be given an opportunity, the eclipse is on the 15th and 16th of May, to make some decisions. So the first message that came in for this group is, uh, the, for the Twin Flames, is you've got heart chakra healing, um, releasing, forgiving, there's memories of love, and the other Tarot message that came in is the, um, the High Priestess 
which is the second um, major arcana. And when she comes in, it's like there's a balancing of masculine and feminine going on, but there's also hidden information. And the hidden information is connected to the healing and the releasing around the heart chakra. The other two chakras that are being activated for this group are healing and clearing of the sacral, which is connected to the third eye. It's connected to the superpowers. And you're also your high heart is being activated, which is part of the 12 chakra system. And that's uh, near your thymus gland. And they're suggesting that being grateful for absolutely everything will help keep your frequency high. You're also, all of you are very connected to the fall of the Emerald Covenant and the Emerald Order. And you're doing some Akashic healing, releasing and clearing around that, which was connected to the fall of Atlantis and Lemuria. So if you feel any sort of deep sort of sadness or grief, energies through this portal is around that you're clearing multi-dimensionally okay another message that came in for all of you is you're being given an opportunity to raise your frequency and you're a child of the cosmos plus you're being asked like how can you show and share your and shine your light and not dim to fit in and I have a message actually for all of us around that um, your numerical number is seven through this gateway uh, crown chakra third eye activations and the message is personal growth so a message i have for twin flames and soul flames and all of us is that we're ne really needing to ramp up our spiritual protection through this gateway we're not out of the woods yet it's still very much a light versus dark um, reality going on no matter what timeline we feel that we're on it's still the timelines are all over the place and merging right now and i find with mercury retrograde what happens is we're sort of brought back to alternate timelines so we can heal and clear so we're we're really to ramp up our personal protection our home protection at this time the dragon unicorn and crystal for the twin flames so the dragon that came in for you all is the air and the fire dragon to expand your creative energies Harness your creativity and communicate your passion. So again, this dragon, the air and fire dragon, will help you keep your vibe high. The unicorn that came in is past lives. So you literally are clearing the Akashic Records and clearing these other timelines to help you keep your vibration high. And the crystal that came in for all of you is perfect. Black tourmaline, root chakra, and for healing and protection. Okay. For the soul flame group. So this is... If any of you wish to align with another divine union partnership that is from your monad that you would like to go forward with, be partner with, do high vibrational new earth work with, as well as be part of a union, then what you would do is you would set your intention to be part of the soul flame alignment. And if you're not sure about that, um, you can actually, you know, book a session with me as well. And I can, I can answer more of your personal questions and, or come to one of the classes on Saturday. Um, so what's happening right now too, is our chakra system is being activated. The whole earth is being activated. The grid system that's activating our meridian system. So it's as within, so without, as above, so below, as below, so above massive, massive energy portal for this weekend and for, um, Monday, this group, the soul flame group. You are being receiving a third eye activation and expansion. And the tarot card that came in was the star card. So our star galactic families are working very, very closely with this group, preparing you. You're also going through an 11th star seed chakra activation. You're also going through a heart chakra healing. That pink energy of self-love and self-care came in. Super important for you to tap into the energies and really give yourself some time to rest if you need it. Um, Another message that came in for you all is you're, you're reconnecting your heart to a higher frequency of receiving heart source universal energy. And you're also doing a clearing out of um, old stories and timelines. There is a timeline from the fall of Egypt where um, you went through a period where you couldn't share your voice that's where the throat chakra comes in so you're doing a real healing through this portal and through mercury retrograde to release any old persecutions to allow you to be able to uh, speak your truth as well we're also all of us are receiving um, the emerald rays to realign us with the new emerald order if we're ready this group as well is receiving a deep cellular healing and um, this can bring up physical and emotional 
clearing at this time. Your numerical number is 78, but I also got that it's a seven and eight, seven or eight, and you're being prepared for your spiritual career, your spiritual service and mission. The dragon that's come in for this group is the water dragon to help you flow easily around obstacles. Your, um, it's This dragon is helping you align with the Christ light to develop your intuitive abilities and allowing you to go with the flow. We also have Archangel Michael that's come in as well, just reminding you all that if you need assistance through this gateway as the 144,000 Blu-ray, um, Star Seed, Twin Flame, Soul Flame, to call upon Archangel Michael at this time as well for to uh, work with you. The unicorn that's come in a sanctuary, take time out from the world, spend more time alone and meditate through this gateway when you get a chance. Also, a grounding protective crystal has come in. Number 19, hematite for mental strength and for the root chakra. Overall messages for all of us as Blu-rays and Star Wars, Star Seeds and Soul Flames through this gateway, we received number eight, positive movement forward. So there might be feeling like a, we need some time to rest and go within and really connect with that eclipse energy. And then it's a restart start and a positive movement forward. We also have it's a number eight, which is the affinity symbol. And it's also connected to the lion's gate, which is what this is all about. We're preparing for the lion's gate and we're receiving those blue rays on the um, through this gateway as well, activating that blue ray frequency within, which as a star seed we carry within us. So the question from someone was, are all Twin Flames uh, Blu-rays? And I would have to say at this point, yes, we resonate with other color rays, but this is a different um, scenario. This is that blue frequency that we brought within us to make us different, to have a different frequency to help us stay in our truth and help us stay connected to source, okay? We're also all going through a massive Akashic Record reevaluation through the Mercury Retrograde and clearing and preparing for our new timeline. Along with the number eight positive movement forward, we also received the Ace of Cups, which is about abundance and new beginnings and our new timeline. Chakras for us overall as Blu-rays, the sacral is getting a healing and clearing, plus we're healing and releasing from our time and lifetimes in Atlantis. We also have the root chakra, healing and clearing out. So this is like old belief systems around stability and abundance, and the message is hope other messages from our Pleiadian Emissaries of Light is you are all part of the star family, you're part of a team of souls, and you're to call in support if you feel you need support at this time. You're also to trust your path and know that you are loved and supported. The key um, gateway of the light card is Akashic Records, clearing old stories. You're releasing past lives to free yourself so that you can be on your highest timeline and hear the call and um, align with your divine mission that you knew that you came in to be a part of this new earth experience. Your numerical code is number 11. I was getting 1111 for all of us. Individuality and claim your sovereignty through this gateway. The dragon that's come in to work with all of us is actually a beautiful dragon because it's preparing us. It's a blue frequency and it's preparing us for the Gemini energy, which will be 19th, 20th, 21st of this month. Uh, the air dragon helps you to rise above earthly matters and see everything from a higher perspective. It's going to help heal our throat chakra through this uh, Mercury retrograde, bringing in inspiration and hope and see all of life from a higher perspective as well. The unicorn that came in is delight, which is actually the joy card. So the unicorn um, is just reminding us to keep a high vibe as best we can. And that also means withdrawing from certain group situations as well. If you feel like there's going to be, you know, negative talk topics or um, gossip or anything that might bring your frequency down to a lower vibration. We're to take uh, joy and pleasure in the simple things and we're always to expect the best. Count our blessings and enjoy our life. The crystal that's come in for this group is Apophyllite. Well, for all of us actually. Apophyllite and or quartz crystal number three, third eye and crown chakra connecting. If you have apophyllite, it's just a little bit of a higher frequency, but clear quartz is the best crystal for all of us to meditate and um, work with at this time. So thank you all so, so much. I just wanted to show some images of the pyramids because for many of us at this time of year, when we were connected to Atlantis and Lemuria and Egypt, 
it was when the star systems were starting to align over the pyramids and we were able to transport in and out of this planet. But now for this mission, we are here and we're aligning with our star systems, our star councils. Even if we're not aware of it, we can just set our intention to connect with our star, or star origin family of light. The Palladians are here to work with all of us through this gateway as we're completely aligned with the Palladian system at this time. And I will be, be uh, sharing more information about that this weekend in the classes and then also in upcoming transmissions and personal sessions, of course. So thank you all so, so much. I, I love and to send love and light to all of you. I hope that everybody is well. If you want to join me or contact me, please check out all the information in the description box below. I send you all so much love and light. Oh, yes. And um, for the rest of this month, I will continue to be working with the amethyst violet flame for transmutation and also the emerald flame for the emerald order sessions and then the blue flame for the blu-ray sessions of light i hope that you all have a beautiful beautiful lunar eclipse sending you all so much love and light and thank you so much for liking and subscribing and being part of this high vibe tribe and i wish you all a beautiful beautiful rest of your evening Love, aloha, and gratitude from Pink Bella. Take care, everyone. Aloha.